Today's game is The Immortal. I'm hoping I can fix it. This is open card surgery. Karen. <laughs> this game provided by D Pad Danny. Um, said it couldn't get it to work. He saw squiggly lines when he turned it on. My son is providing uh, theatrics today, apparently. We'll, we'll just keep it rolling, though. Let's see if we can get this to work. So he said when it turns on, there's like squiggly lines. I don't even get that much. Hmm. Somebody would recognize him. Let me double check here. Don't mind this. This was a, a Reaper I was working on recently. All right, so we know the Nintendo's working, and you know what? It may be my monitor because I think he showed me on a tube TV. And with this monitor, if it looks messed up or glitched or whatever, um, if it's a over something, you know, it might just not show up as anything. So hard to say. Well, let's try. Ah, it's probably beyond cleaning, and I think he already cleaned it too. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway. The light's gonna go out. I told you. <laughs> 3.8 millimeter game bit. Looks like a little star shaped thing. Alrighty. Looks great. It's all shiny and stuff. That side looks good too. Just using a one up card. It looks like. Now these pins already look clean. Down in front. Get out of there. Still nothing. CIC looks fine. I guess we could try popping these pins out and trying it in a test board and see if see if it's the board's problem, but the game still works. So um, maybe we'll try that. I'm using a Hako 808 desoldering gun. You just pull the trigger. The solder sucks up into this little uh, reservoir here. Um, they don't make these anymore, but there are other desoldering guns. Whatever works. I'm going to desolder these pins, pop them out, and I made a test board, and I'll show you what that is in just a little bit. These, I want to be extra, extra gentle. Sometimes when I make repros, I just like yank them all out. But these, I need to reuse. So I can't just be pulling them out all willy-nilly style, you know? And with these ones, it's always this one in the very back corner, which is so hard to reach because the CIC is right there. Wouldn't it be funny if this whole problem, if that was the chip that was causing all the problems? Now here's the Immortal without the uh, games involved, and you can see right, where is it? There it is, right there. It's kind of hard to read, but it's a TL-ROM. Fortunately, I have a TL-ROM test board. Now this is like making a repro, but it's just sockets, and the sockets are already wired in place. So all I have to do is just pop the pins in and see if it works. Right, so what I did was I put a Game Genie in it because with these chips popping in here, then this part won't quite fit into the system. I know that's not the right Game Genie for this system, but it, um, it works for me, so. Um, that's a good sign. I recognize that there's something in there. Ah, that's not a good sign. Definitely the game. Sorry, dude. I was, I was hoping, I was hoping that was the reason. If so, I could just pop it in another uh, board and get it to work for you. But now we know for sure that it works. Hi, hello. Hey, I'm an idiot. Of course this wouldn't work. Why would this work? This is already wired for uh, for repros. So the EPROMs, this is the actual legit game. And now I'm telling it to send the information other places with the wiring that's inside this board. Of course this wouldn't work. Um, so I'm going to test it out. Just I'm going to plop these pins into a suitable donor, and then we'll see if that works. And if it does, great. If not, then we still know it was the game at least, right? Now the thing is, the Immortal is a TL-ROM, and I actually don't happen to have a spare TL-ROM laying around. I do have a spare TK-ROM. Now, TK-ROM is a TL-ROM, or like a TS-ROM, with a battery. So, um, the battery won't matter in the game, but the game should still play, even though it doesn't need the extra stuff. But the game will still work if I can just pop it right in, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to be extra careful lifting these out of the holders here. 
This is the PRG, which will go right in the PRG area. There we go. All right, I'm gonna solder these in place and we'll see what happens. So here it is. It's a TL ROM on a TK ROM board. It's all soldered in place. You don't have to do any wires or anything since it's a straight trade through. And I've only, I'm only basing this on the fact that I've made TL ROM repros using TK ROM boards. So this should work, should. Um, I'm gonna use it through a Game Genie just because uh, it's easier for me to pull the pins in and out than try to push it inside the system and all that. So that's a great sign. That means that it recognizes there's something in the system. If I hit start, we see a title screen. Boy, that'll be about awesome. What? Did you see that for a second? It happened. Something happened. Where'd it go? I bet it's doing the same thing that it was doing for him. Now, this thing, if it starts getting too squiggly, it'll just crap out and say, like, no, we don't know what you're trying to show us, so we're just gonna, like, you know, it's barely messed up. That's probably what happened, because he was telling me, and he showed me video, too. Like, if I plug this into a C... CRT television, um, you'd see a bunch of squiggly lines. Oh, there's that. So there's something there, but it's... I think it's exactly the way he was talking about, so it's definitely the game, which means that his, your old uh, TL ROM board, if you're not using that for anything... <laughs> I might use that to use that as a, as a tutorial on how to make a TL ROM repro, and I won't feel so bad about destroying games because the game's already destroyed. There it is again. Ah, oh, such a cool game. It's definitely the game. Definitely the game. So we've decided on that. Such a fun game too. Fortunately, um, unfortunately, I can't fix it. Fortunately, um, fortunately, uh, it's not. You know, it wasn't something else. So. Well, I tried, dude. I really did. Um, I know it's like it's a week later after I filmed that first video. Can you tell? I actually gained like five pounds since then. <laughs> so as I have dinner cooking on the stove, it just dawned on me. It's like, wait a minute, that wouldn't work. <laughs> Not with all the wires on. Uh, yeah, this this thing here, because if you see inside it, it has all those wires, like the redirect wires for making repros. Like that's so why I can test it out on actual hardware before wiring it together. So um, unfortunately, it's a fail, but it's still kind of a win, only because we know that. You know, it was it was definitely the game and nothing I can fix on that one. However, it also means that the old TL ROM should work. So I'm gonna use that for a tutorial video on how to make TL ROM repros in the very near future. So keep that in mind. I thank you for watching. If you have any donations uh, as far as broken games go, always eager to accept them. Uh, have my address down in the description below. Um, or if you just want to show up at a video game convention in the near future, Portland Retro Gaming Expo is coming up, stuff like that. Um, I'll happily take your broken games there all the same. Uh, in the meantime, we'll see you in Portland coming up on October 21st through the 23rd at the Expo um, and more Expos uh, in the future too. So thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks for the like. Thanks for the subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will see you soon. You're awesome. You know it. You got rigs here. We'll see you.